Hello, this is Mr. Waterman. Today in section 3.6, the last section of chapter 6, we're learning theorems about perpendicular lines. We've been working a lot with parallel lines. Now we're going to start talking about perpendicular. We have three theorems that you need to record into your notes. First one, if two lines intersect to form a linear pair, so we're starting with a linear pair here, and if they form a linear pair of congruent angles, so angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent, then the lines are perpendicular. All right? Next one. If two lines are perpendicular, then they form four right angles. They intersect to form four right angles. So in other words, if you have one right angle, you actually have four right angles with the two intersecting lines. And then finally, the third one. Two sides of two adjacent acute angles are perpendicular. Two sides of two adjacent acute angles, and they're perpendicular. Then the angles are complementary. Those two angles, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is going to equal 90 degrees. All right? Moving on, first example. In the figure, angle one and angle two are congruent. What can you conclude about the measure of angle two? So on the diagram, we've marked that these two angles are congruent, okay? So a couple conclusions can be reached then, using the theorems that we just read. So if we have two angles So in this diagram, we have two congruent angles, and they form a linear pair. So that's our first new theorem. So what we can then conclude is that angle 2 is a right angle. All right. And the measure of angle 2 is 90 degrees. All right. Those are slightly different. Ang first we're saying in words, angle 2 is a right angle, and then we use the definition of right angles to say measure of angle 2 is 90 degrees. All right, next example, proof. All right, prove that, I, that if angle one and angle two are complementary, then line BA, this line, is perpendicular to line BC. All right, so we want to show that those, in fact, are perpendicular. So we go ahead and write down the given. They gave us that angle one and angle two are complementary. And they've asked us to prove that line BA is perpendicular to line BC. I'm adding little double-headed arrows on the top to indicate lines. OK, so over here, um, we know that these are complementary. So first thing, we'd write the given, right? So statement one, angle one and angle two are complementary. All right, that's given. Okay. Next thing, we now want to put this into an equation. So we'll say angle one plus angle two equals 90 degrees. You should say measure angle one plus measure angle two equals 90 degrees. All right. Reason is going to be definition of complementary angles. Okay. Statement three. All right, next step in this proof is going to be taking um, measure of angle one plus measure of angle two. We're going to use angle addition and say that that equals the measure of this overall angle, the one with the red lines, measure of angle ABC. Okay, and then from there, so that's, that's angle addition postulate. And then from there, we're gonna just take, use transitive property and show that measure angle ABC equals 90. And then from there, we're just going to be able to prove that BA is, in fact, perpendicular to BC right. using definition of perpendicular lines. All right. Uh